Hi guys, Squirrel here, and back with another episode of Trucking Diaries. I'm really starting to enjoy this. If you remember the last time we uh, were on level 3, I was trying to get to level 4, but I didn't quite make it. And I, we, we actually went down to LA, if you remember. We went uh, from Bakersfield, we went down to LA. It's like a uh, heat pump, I think it was. Uh, I had a look at the quick job market. I don't know if you remember or not, but I said I might take a job down to... I think it was San Diego from LA. However, I've kind of changed my mind because I really want to hit level 4. And I've spotted a job in here. Where is it now? Um, electronic components. No, it was on the first page, I think. Uh, computers, that was it. Las Vegas computers. Look, so it goes from here all the way to LA uh, to Las Vegas. I know we wanted to go that way. But I really want to hit level 4. And this pays really well. So I think the XP will be good. Because it's fragile cargo. And it's an important delivery. So there's going to be bonuses to have. So let's do that one. And on the way, I was thinking, let's go into Barstow. And Prim. And LA. Make sure we get those discoverables on the way. How far is it away? 5 hours. That's fine. Actually, we're going to teleport in. It's fine. So yeah, we'll get a few discoverables. Uh, let's have a look at our route here. So we're going to leave from... or actually way outside of LA. We're east of LA. So we're going to go on this road into Barstow. Now, the question is, will that be enough to trigger the discovery of Barstow? And I'm thinking maybe not. So if we was to go like that, just take ourselves off the interstate. That might be enough to trigger. Or we'll guarantee that we do. I don't know if we need to do it or not. Prim, it looks like we're going to drive through Prim. So we'll probably pick that up en route anyway. Uh, and then we've got a discoverable here. Which is really awkwardly down that road. Very annoying. It's bound to be a recruitment agency in LA. So we've got a choice. We either drop these computers off and then go there. Or go down there and, and we'll probably have to back up. But I'm thinking let's... Let's try and do that first. Or maybe not. No, let's not. It's only an agency. I'm not that bothered. I'll get the discoverable for, for LA. That's the main thing. Now, it's 11.44pm. Ignition. Parking brake. Truck IR. Start. Lights. 11.44pm, which means it's going to be a bit of a night drive. Pull out and have a quick look at the trailer here. It looks like it's that red blue one, the Walbert one. Yeah. It's quite a short trailer. It's only got computers in it. But it is important. So obviously Vegas's computers are broken down. Alright, Jeff, how's it going, man? You alright? Yeah? You cold? No? Of course you're not. Why would you be cold in California? It's like 16 degrees at night. Okay, left turn this way. Yeah, so most of it's going to be a bit of a night run. However, because it is an important job, the XP is going to be fantastic and well worth doing. Plus, I kind of like these night runs. I love looking at the nights. The night lighting is really good. Okay, so that's a stop with a red light. But I was about to say, but my guess is... We can turn right here, and it went green. As it always does whenever I say that. Right, let's get up to the speed limits. Because I don't want to be late on this one. I want to get. I want it to pay well. I think it was level 5 and 6 where all the really interesting stuff starts to unlock. Let's get the speedometer. But level 4 is an important step. I seem to remember there was some stuff on the cab that unlocked at level 4. I can't remember what it was though. It might have been the chassis at level 3. I think it was some wheels at 4. Or was it the chassis at 5 and the engine at 6? Something like that. But anyway, I'm going to try and get up to that speed limit of 55 here. Cruising over to Vegas. So we're, we're passing out of Cali. Into uh, Nevada. Which is sweet. Oh, it's going dark! Look at the stars. These are the stars. That's cool. Alright, it's not like an 8th gear up here very much. I thought this was only 5 tons. How small is this engine? Uh, 
I bet the computers are needed at the uh, casinos. <laughs> They do have the, a lot of those caravan parks around here, I've noticed. I've spotted quite a few of them now. I guess that's the mountain range that you go through when you go from California over to Vegas. I'm guessing we're going to be driving through that. Wait, why are we braking here? Speed limit's come down 35. I just saw the sign. I actually saw the speed limit sign. That's impressive. I'm actually learning. <laughs> Safe personal storage. Alright, 35 through the town. I expect it goes back up to, what, 65? Nice. Oh, it's 65 for cars, 55 for trucks. That's fine. Quite a small little pizza bolt this. This is the kind of thing that um, I would end up with if we bought a truck. Okay, let's back off on the old speed though. Not losing money again. <laughs> Twice bitten. Once you end up at the point where you've just got hundreds of thousands in the bank, a thousand dollar fine really doesn't matter anymore. Of course, in the real world, they put other factors in there, like points on your license. Otherwise, all the rich people will be speeding everywhere and just going, yeah, I don't care. I can pay the money. Whatever. But in this game, a thousand dollars right now is a real kick in the teeth. I do like these trust truck rest stops. Right, Barstow is this lane. So we're getting off here just to make sure we pick this up. So it's a bit of a Barstow drive through this one. Slow it down. And stop. You gonna let me out, bro? No? Okay. You let me out? <laughs> like you've got a choice. Asian food, sportswear, active fashion, and Chris's meat market. There we go. Discovered it now. So I do think that if we'd have stayed on the interstate, we wouldn't have picked up this discovery. If you look, there's little details everywhere. There's like, there's a call box... There's a newspaper um, things, the bins. There's just so many, like, decorative assets. And everything that you see had to be put there. Everything. Even the lampposts have signs on them. It's crazy detail. Right. Slow down. Speeding again. So we're passing waypoint one. Where you can get your truck fixed up. Bitumen. I like how there's these companies called Bitumen. Gasoline. <laughs> what next? We've, we've already had an oil. Motel. Okay. Still not quite used to the brake insensitivity yet. This guy in front's got a really uh, old car. Right, Mr. Bus Driver, I really don't want to clip you. There we go. What's that say? Since something Heron Rentals. Right, back on the interstate after that little detour. Hopefully it won't cost us too much in terms of delivery time. Oh dear, I should yield at this point. I don't understand why they don't have a bigger run-on um, strip there. You know, like the UK motorways, they don't just feed on like that. It's just crazy. 
like they have a couple of hundred meters of run on so you can accelerate up to motorway speeds before you merge in I don't know if it you know does that in America I can't remember but dumping you straight in like that and then saying yield is a, a recipe for disaster Oh, we've got truck races are on, look. <laughs> Yo! He's got a full-on sleeper, though. He's actually got quite a good setup, if you look. He's got all the fairing. And uh, it feeds nice, nicely onto the boxcar, so it's quite a nice slimline, streamlined design. Hey bro, I'm doing 55. How are you overtaking me? How does that work? Do you not have a 55 speed limit in your life? Oh, he's backed off. I think he realized he was speeding. Right, what time of night is it? Uh, 3 a.m. We may yet see the sunrise. Starting to open up into desert now. Look at that. You can see for miles. Why is that on the left? Why is that? Does that serve any purpose apart from just being there with some lights on it that aren't even turned on? Yep, we're in the desert. I need to slow down. You never know when the cops are going to pass. Right, we've got 69 miles. And it's 3.30 a.m. Yeah, I'm pretty certain we're going to see the sunrise. We have got that slight detour at the end. Actually, let me just check the delivery time. Delivery time is between 5 and 9 a.m. So what I'll do is when we pull up into Vegas, I'm going to check on the... Whoops. I'm going to check on the current time. And if we've got time to go via that recruitment agency spot, we will, otherwise I won't bother. There's actually a mechanics here on this road, look. Wait, who put the speed limit up to 80? Wowzers. Prim. Look, there's a mechanics there. And a ferris wheel? Whoa. That is awesome. Look how lit up it is over there. Oh man, that is so good. Why is it not moving though? That would be, I suppose it's closed given the time of night, but that is awesome. I hope that moves in the day. Alright, so apparently the truck speed limit is 80 miles per hour down here, which I kind of find hard to believe, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to do 80. If I don't, I'll probably be late anyway, so let's do this. Well, there's a jet coming in, probably into Vegas Airport. I've actually flown that that um, LA to Vegas. I'd like to do it again, actually. On P3D it, three, it looked even better. I did it on version two, and it looked okay. There's a lot of detail on the Vegas Airport, but I'd like to see it on 3.1, I think. Police car, hope. All right, we're getting off here. I think we're in Vegas. Vegas, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, left lane. Oh, that was a bit harsh. Don't want to break these computers now. Oh, my life. Look at that. Look at that casino. Look at the lighting. That is amazing. I bet they had some fun doing Vegas. Look at the detail everywhere. Oh, wow. I really need to have a look around Vegas at some point. Right, we're turning right down here somewhere. Whoa, dude, there's no need for that, okay? Because it's me that's going to get fined. Let's get in that lane. This is so cool. 
I wonder which map maker's got to do Vegas. I'm like, I want Vegas. Give me Vegas. I want to do Vegas. Okay, he's gone the same direction. We've got the computers. Maybe he's got the network cables. Okay, it's actually 4 a.m. I could have um, could have gone to that other spot, to be honest. We've got plenty of time. Where are we? Let's do it. Let's take a right here. Let's go and get it. The more recruitment agencies you have, then when you come to recruit people, the more choice you have. And that's a good thing because they have different driver ratings. And so what you want to be doing is recruiting the drivers with the highest ratings um, and if you've got more agencies to choose from chances are you'll be able to find somebody with a good rating that's the reason to go and get this it's like an investment but also it's a massive excuse just to drive through Vegas and go wow look at this road it's like four lanes wide this is brilliant What does it say? Mandalay Place. This is, um... Awesome. Oh, my life. Oh, wow. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, no, I'm in a right and turn lane. What the heck? How does that work? Look at the detail. Stop. I am completely in the wrong lane, but there's nothing I can do right now. Okay, all the traffic's going to get so annoyed with me. Whoa, he turned right! I've caused massive chaos. There was a guy behind me as well. He was, like, in the lane to turn right. And then I started going straight on, and he's like, Whoa, what are you doing? Okay, this time I am turning right. Presumably I can just go right. I bet they had to change their coding, you know, at SCS, because turning on rights, turning right on red was not in Euro Trucker. So the idea that lights can be on red, but you can turn right and it not penalise you, they had to specifically code for that. can't believe we've made it to Vegas. This is so nice. What does that say? Manitou. Just look at that skyline. What is this guy doing here? I know he's turning right, but what on earth? Guy's crazy. Yellow cabs. Yellow cab taxis. So a lot of the cabs in America now, when I was there, a lot of them are not yellow cabs anymore. Especially with the advent of Uber. Okay, right turn. Don't you dare pull out on me. I've got right of way here, bro. Right, here's the recruitment thing. But like I say, the problem here is going to be turning around. Okay, that's picked it up. So I'm going to get off here. Use this spot to turn around on. That works for me. Because I can't go that way. Only the AI can go that way. This appears to be a... One of those junctions where... can never really figure out who's got right of way. I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> I'm a bit confused about those junctions. How do you get out, though? I don't know. Is it just a case of first come, first served, or...? 
give way to some people and then some will give way to you? I mean, how does it work? Okay, turning on right here. Turn right and red, I should say. Well, this is good, because now we can see a bit of Vegas in the daytime. We'll drop to side lights. Oh, man, they've put the... Um, some of the notable sites in Vegas, they've actually put them in. I hope I'm in the right lane here. Yeah, look at it over there. Luxor and the Sphinx. It looks so good. Off we go. The amazing Bronco Jelly Neck. Did you see that? That poster. <laughs> it's like some kind of Mickey Take poster. Uh, I think I need to be in this lane at this point. Oh, look, he's got a bulldozer. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Did we just hit a lump in the road? What happened? I've got no damage. I was getting sandwiched. I had this guy on the left. I had a guy turning in on the right, and then we seemed to... It felt like we hit something. But I assume it was just the road surface, because I didn't take any damage. Customer expects delivery soon. It's only 7 o'clock. We've got till 9. We'll be there in a minute. Don't you start playing your music at me game. Not my fault I'm stuck in Vegas traffic. No, it's the dreaded music! There's a mod you can get. Um, on Eurotruck, anyway. Where it starts ringing a Nokia phone. Which is just way better than this, because... It can't, it's like your dispatcher's calling you, you know, going, Where are you? My customer's expecting delivery. And you just get this... Diddle -doo, diddle -doo, diddle -doo, diddle -doo, the original Nokia ringtone. I much prefer that. Than just playing music at you. It's like I say, if you're new to the game, you're probably wondering what the heck it's all about. Nice that guy to just suddenly stop like that. That was... Full on GG. Clear on the left. Okay, we might get penalised slightly. Oh, it's only 7.20. We're okay. No! I'm going right, you scumbag. Why can't you be in the left lane and then I can turn right? Why you do this, camper van? Why you do this to me, bro? Come on, out the way, get moving. Right, let's find out who wants these computers, shall we? We are getting closer. Well, we're kind of driven away from the main casino areas. We'll go into the high-rise bits. Possibly a shopping center? I don't know. Don't you change on me. Oh, wow, that turned... I didn't see the concrete wall on the floor. Blimey. What, are you kidding me? We're bringing computers to Walbert. So basically, we're bringing a whole bunch of laptops. Consumer laptops. I'm disappointed. I really am. I thought it was something important. <laughs> Supermarket, welcome to the market. Right, this is looks like it's around the back here. I've seen this design in Eurotruck. Right, 7.39 a.m. We're definitely on time. Um, okay, that's an interesting reverse. Right in between two trailers. Nice. <laughs> At least we've got the yard space for it. That's quite cool. I like that. 
I'm really enjoying the kind of varied drop-off points you're getting. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of these turning circle of this thing, but I still haven't mastered it yet. I'm still more used to my cab overs. But we're getting there. I think I've misaligned it. I don't know if it's going to take this or not. It may not take that. No, it's not taking it. I wish there was a way you could press the button to say, I know customers are expecting delivery. Stop playing music at me now. I acknowledge that. I'll be there on time. Don't worry. I was going to say, is that not acceptable? I'm pretty certain you could unload that. And then it dinged. Nice. Let's find out what we got. Level 4 hype. I liked... I think I like it. 10 out of 50. Yes. Level 4. Look at that. $3,000 and 400 XP. That's a lot of XP. Bonus for parking the trailer, 90. You can see, like, that is... Nigh on 25% bonus XP. That is seriously worth it at this level. Urgent delivery 45, fragile 50. That's like half of my XP just came from unlocking those two ranks and parking it myself. That's a big, big difference. Definitely worth doing. But now I've got to decide where to spend another point. Now, I'd kind of like to take non-explosives. Flammable... Gases, flammable gas, hydrogen, flammable liquids, kerosene, petrol, and diesel. That sounds like fun. And then I can get take those um, tankers. Flammable solids. Quite like the idea of that, actually. Just because I want to take those cisterns. Nice. No email. Level four. Okay, what's the bank balance? $25,000. So we've got 25 grand in the bank. We're level four. We can get a 500 grand bank loan. It's all looking really good. I'm, I'm getting very, very close to wanting to get my own truck. I might get it. I might get it at level five. Because I've only got to get to level six and I can upgrade the engine. I might take the truck at level five. That feels like the happy medium. Because by then I'll probably have about... I don't know, 35, 40,000 in the bank maybe, um, which will mean, you know, we can get a truck with all the configuration on it, get on the road at level five with my own truck, and I think maybe at level five we may be able to upgrade our garage. At the moment, I can't go to the company manager and upgrade the garage, so I'm thinking that must be unlocking at five, maybe. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. That's it for this video. Take care, guys. Happy trucking.